today's video. We're exploring a fascinating tradition called Bomina, which takes place in the beautiful hills of Bhutan under the night sky. Bhutan is in South Asia, nestled in the eastern Himalayas. It is a landlocked country bordered by China to the north and India to the southeast and west. Bhutan's strategic location between these two large neighbors gives it a unique cultural and geographical identity. Among the many facets of Bhutanese culture, Bomana stands out as a cherished tradition, weaving stories of romance and camaraderie under the moonlit sky. The custom fosters a deep sense of community unity as families and friends come together to partake in the age-old rituals and festivities. Let's unveil the tradition. As dusk settles, young men and women from Bhutanese villages gather for Bomena. It's this ancient custom where they head out into the wilderness after dark, guided by the moonlight, to socialize and potentially find a romantic connection. Can you imagine the atmosphere? It's like a scene from a movie. Quiet hills, starry skies, and groups of people chatting and mingling in the dark. Bomina creates this unique space for young folks to interact under the moonlit sky, away from the hustle of daytime. As is the tradition, sometimes a girl would leave a window or door slightly open for her suitor. The darkness provide complete cover, and the visitor often left before sunrise when the family woke up. If he was caught, he might complete the relationship by marrying the girl and moving in with her. Even if not caught, their relationship could lead to marriage or life together. If a suitor left the girl after she became pregnant, she would not face significant stigma. She could find another man who would embrace her and her child as his own. Also, this tradition is more prevalent in eastern part of Bhutan. We've been lucky to chat with locals about Bomana, and they've shared incredible stories. For them, this tradition is all about preserving their culture and forming meaningful relationships within the community. Now what makes Bomana exciting is the adventure aspect. Participants navigate the terrain, maybe even play some traditional games, all while following the unwritten rules of the night hunt. It's a mix of thrill and tradition. It's also necessary to learn that this tradition may be misunderstood because it can appear to condone risky behavior or lack of responsibility. However, in the cultural context where it exists, it may have provided a way for young people to engage in relationships despite social and familial constraints. The lack of stigma surrounding pregnancy without marriage and the ability for the girl to find another partner suggests community acceptance and flexibility in dealing with these situations. As we wrap up our journey into Bomina, I hope you all would have enjoyed learning about this captivating tradition. Bhutan has so much to offer culturally, and Bomina is just one beautiful example. Before I go, let me share two most interesting facts about Bhutan. Did you know? Bhutan is known as the land of happiness, and Bhutan stands as the only carbon negative nation globally, surpassing its carbon dioxide absorption beyond its production. Stay tuned for more cultural adventures ahead. I'll be back soon. Thank you all for watching.